Obsidian has over 1700 plus plugins right now. But how many of those do you use in your daily workflow? 5, 10, 20 or even more? While most of us are familiar with popular plugins like DataView, Templator, Tasks, Calendar and others, there are some lesser known plugins that can help you elevate your Obsidian experience. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the underrated Obsidian plugins that you should be using. Most of these plugins are not reinventing the wheel, rather they are just fine tuning the existing mechanisms in order to make the Obsidian workflow seamless. So without any delay, let's uh, start the video. The first plugin that we talk about is called Remember Cursor Position. Just as the name says, Remember Cursor Position plugin remembers the cursor position and scroll for each node. When you are moving from one node to another node and editing and writing in multiple nodes at the same time, if you go back to the previous node, then the cursor will be at the beginning of that node. Let me give you an example. Let's say I'm working on a book note. This is the book note that I'm writing. And by default, the cursor position will be at the beginning of the node, even when I have left it at this position, right? I'm at this second heading on launch. But if I close this and if I reopen this node, the cursor position will still be at the beginning. And you have to scroll down to see where you left last time but with the remember cursor position plugin let me show you I'll just enable the plugin remember cursor position now right now I am in this heading if I close this note and if I reopen the note again instead of being at the starting position the cursor will be here at the place where you left when you close this note so this is really helpful in case you are writing long form notes or you frequently move from one node to another node and you don't want to scroll back to the position or you don't want to find where you left off when you close that node. This plugin really helps to save you a lot of time when you are writing and editing your notes. The second plugin in our list is hide sidebar on window resides. What this plugin does is when you are working on a computer and you have a certain width of the window then it will hide the sidebar and when the width of the window exceeds certain levels then it will show the sidebars so this is a smaller window if i go back to the larger window size then it will automatically show the sidebars and if i again resize the window into smaller one then uh, the sidebars will automatically hide due to this plugin let's go to settings and search for this plugin you can configure the window width it automatically hides the sidebars when your window is narrow on window resize. You can go to options and you can specify the width upon which you want this plugin to function. This can be helpful if you do multitasking. You can open Obsidian with sidebars automatically in the large window and if you want to multitask you can put it side by side like this. You can put another window like a browser on the side and it will be pretty seamless because you don't have to click on these options to close the sidebars and open the sidebars when you need. You can just go to full screen and split screen in order to show and hide these sidebars. The next plugin in our list is Sortable. Sortable plugin is currently archived by the creator. You'll have to go to the browser and source for Sortable plugin Obsidian and you will get this GitHub link Obsidian Sortable. You will need to copy this URL for the Sortable plugin and then you will need to use the brad plugin in order to install it so what this plugin does is it makes sorting tables easier if you are using data view or tables in your vault a lot then this is gonna be extremely helpful let me show you an example let me go back to obsidian and let me go to a reading list so this is a reading list right here and let me go to completed section and this is a data view query this is all created with the help of data view query let me hide the sidebars right now this is all created with the help of data view query and these nodes are sorted by default if i want to sort by a different style then i will have to rewrite the data view query like i'll have to write the sort function over here but with the sortable plugin it becomes easy over here you can see these are different properties that are available for these nodes and if i click on any of these it won't do anything but with sortable plugin if i click on these options then it will sort by those options let me install the sortable plugin right now and show you a demo so for that you'll need to install the brad plugin brad is a community plugin which helps to install uh, plugins directly from the github without 
them being available in the Comte plugin store. So if you search for sortable, it is not available in the Comte plugin because the author of the plugin archived it. So you'll need to go to options and you will need to click on add beta plugin over here and paste the link that we copied previously for obsidian sortable and click on add plugin and this plugin will be added once the plugin is installed you can go to Comte plugin and see if it is enabled or not here i have already enabled the sortable plugin and it does not have any options or settings so now you can go back and this is the reading list and now if i click on any of these the notes will be sorted automatically based on that property let's say if i click on file it will sort based on the file name if i click on author it will sort based on the author of the book you can see it starts with ali now it starts with will you can sort based on pages it, it doesn't have any page the this note doesn't have any pages so it starts with the beginning then the book with 77 pages 82 pages similarly you can also sort by ratings and all the other properties that you have in the data view query this can not only be used with data view queries but it can also be used with obsidian tables so that's the plus point of using the obsidian sortable plugin the next plugin on the list is trash explorer i have assigned the hotkey option d to delete nodes in my vault and sometimes i accidentally delete nodes if i want to recover those nodes i will either have to go to the system trash or obsidian trash based on the settings that i have in my vault but with this trash explorer plugin you can just go to the sidebar and you have this trash explorer icon over here or it is also available on the ribbon menu you can just click on it and you will be able to see all the nodes that you have deleted and recover it directly from here but for the trash explorer plugin to work you will need to configure one thing in the setting that is you will need to set up the trash folder as obsidian trash instead of system trash in the settings for that you can go to settings and file and links and here you have the option of deleted files what happens to a file after you delete it move to obsidian trash okay there are these three options move to system trash move to obsidian trash or permanently delete when you set the option to move to obsidian trash then only this trash explorer plugin will function the next plugin on our list is auto note mover and this is one of my personal favorite plugin because it makes it so easy to manage and organize nodes in obsidian with this plugin you can set rules and based on those rules your nodes will be automatically organized in your world let me go to settings and here is the auto node mover plugin auto node mover plugin will automatically move the active nodes to the respective folders according to their set rules so i have only two rules set in my vault first is whenever a node in my vault has a hashtag atomic node it will be automatically transferred to atomic nodes folder and whenever a node has a hashtag literature node it will be automatically moved to resources folder and you can set the rule to either tag or title I have set the rule as tag over here. After you have set a rule, you can configure the trigger option, which will either be automatic or manual. Automatic means whenever you create, edit or rename a node, the node will be moved if it matches the rule that you have set in the plugin option. Manual means you will need to manually trigger the auto node mover plugin to do its work. Let me show you an example of this plugin as well. So I'll go to Explorer. On the side let's create a new node okay this node is right now over here right so I can just write literature node and it will sorry it's light node that should be lit, lit node and you can see here is the notification saying move the node new node to resources folder here it is and if I write atomic node hashtag then again it will be moved to the atomic notes folder automatically so this plugin can save you a lot of time helping you organize and manage uh, notes in obsidian the next plugin on our list is quick explorer and quick explorer plugin reduces the use case of the left sidebar or the file explorer so i'll just go to quick switcher and search for a book now with this quick explorer plugin you can directly access the file explorer right from the tab so you don't have to go back to 
the sidebar and look for nodes from here you can just click on the header and it will show you all the nodes that are present on that particular folder if you want to see the root folder you can just click on this backslash to view nodes from a particular folder you can just click on that folder name one of the best thing that i loved about this plugin is that it automatically shows you the preview of the node that you are hovering over let's say i'm into this root folder and over the templates folder if you go over any of these nodes it will show you the content of that particular node just like this so instead of going back to the file explorer from here you can just view all of your nodes and files right from the tab bar the next plugin on our list is beauty tab and this is the demo of the beauty tab plugin right it has the option to source the node right here it has a nice a clock and greeting on the top then it has a list of recently opened files and the bookmarks below so it gives a browser like new tab to your obsidian vault when you go to a new tab you will have this beautiful looking new tab page you can also configure different options for this page such as the wallpaper the clock style greetings you can also personalize this with the help of beauty tab settings uh, if you go to settings and beauty tab plugin there are a lot of options to customize this new tab you can choose a different theme uh, you can either choose a uh, default from the plugins option or you can add local images or you can also use vault images then there are these other options which you might want to check out such as time settings source settings greetings recent files and bookmarks and finally there's the option to show quotes whether you want to show quotes from quotable or your own quotes by adding custom quotes over here so these are some of the options with the beauty tap plugin the next plugin on our list is local backup and local backup plugin allows you to create a backup for your vault in your local device so go to settings and go to company plugins and search for local backup over here i think i have lost my internet connection right now but i can just see it in here local backup this is the plugin right uh, once you have installed the plugin there are certain options that you can configure you can configure the backup history length so it will maintain if i say 30 it will maintain the history length for the past 30 days and you can configure the backups for day i have set up one then you can configure the backup location all of the backups of your vault will be stored in this particular folder that you specify over here then there's the option to configure file name you can also configure the plugin to create interval backups which means the plugin will create a backup of your vault every certain minutes by default this is one day if you enable this option it will create a backup of your vault every single day or you can also configure it to create like every four hours or uh, like that if i write four it means four minutes if i write 240 it will mean like four hours then there are these other options for file archiving which are optional you don't need to check that this plugin helps to create a local backup of your vault in case uh, you change something in your vault and you want to restore or you want to go back to the previous version then you can just uh, go to the set output path of this plugin and you can restore using that backup the next plugin on our list is called as global hotkey global hotkey plugin allows you to configure a system wide hotkeys for running commands which means even when your obsidian app is minimized it won't work if your obsidian app is closed but it will work when you are working with some other applications and your obsidian app is minimized now if i have assigned a hotkey command control n to create a new node with the global hotkey plugin if i use the hotkey command control n and i am on the arc browser it will open obsidian and create a new node so let me show you side by side right now i'm in my arc browser okay i am right now i am here in the arc browser if i use the hotkey command control n it will create a new node into the obsidian app like this with this plugin any obsidian command can be mapped to global hotkeys if you go to settings over here on global hotkeys okay here's the global hotkey and you can assign a hotkey for any of these obsidian commands there's a different way to add a hotkey uh, using this global hotkey you can just press the hotkey just like you would do with the hotkeys in obsidian 
you will need to write like this right if you want to assign a global hotkey in order to add an alias then you will need to write like command plus command plus a just like that or command plus shift plus a like that you can see the example over here the next plugin on our list is hotkeys for specific file let me go to company plugins and i might have already installed it okay so this is the plugin called as hotkeys for a specific file this plugin adds a command for specific files and open them with a hotkey by default you do not have the option to add a hotkey for a specific file but with this plugin you create a hotkey option for opening that specific file you can go to options and here here you have the option to add a new file such as let's say all right okay garden okay so if i add this it will automatically create a hotkey for opening this node if i go to hotkeys now and if i search garden over here you have the option uh, hotkeys for specific files open garden or open garden in a new tab then you can assign a hotkey uh, using the hotkeys feature of obsidian let's say i write control g sorry command g is assigned to chat all f so i'll write command option g and now i can directly open that garden node using the hotkey command control option g so this is another plugin that you might find useful called as hotkeys for specific files so these were some of the obsidian plugins that i was personally using and that i think would help you to improve your obsidian experience i hope you found some of the plugins that you would like to use personally if you found the video valuable don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with some cool obsidian related content in the future thank you for watching see you again bye bye